Scott. So guys, we're here with all of the cubes. Are you guys excited for this? Oh my goodness, do you see all these cubes? Okay, let's get right into the re reviews of every single cube. So guys, let's just get right into the reviews. So, first cube, here we go. So, it's just random selection, and the first cube we got is... <laughs> so the first cube we got is um my 5x5. Five five. First cube, yes we are. So, first cube, um, here we are with... The Moe 5x5, so corner cutting, pretty good, except it locks up half the time, like, like a piece just almost fell out. Um, yeah, so, um, that's my take on it. Out of 10, I give it a 7, so let's go on to Dead Almost, take on the cube, so here we are. So I just, yeah, tell us what you think okay. about it. So, the cube's quite smooth if you turn it, and just like um, Lemon Square said, it locks up a lot, and corner cutting is pretty good. Like, if it's, see if it's up here, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. So that's that almost take. Let's go on to Tax Olsen. Tax Olsen. Um, this cube is almost flawless. I like that you can just take it apart really easily. In your case, you cannot solve it. But I can. So, so that eat. is yep. not a worry. So yeah. Next, one. Next cube. Which one? It'll be music over this, so. Do not worry. Max, that's enough. Please stop. Mow you. Is that what it's called? Just the gear cube. So like, just the gear cube, three by three. The square, the square gear cube. Um, it's a pretty unique cube. Um, you can't just turn the top wire by itself or the middle wire. Let's just take a look at how it turns. So it turns like that. So once you get a side side back to normal, these pieces are messed up. And it's not like where you turn it four times and it's back to normal because look, it's messed up and I just turned it like four times. So you have to keep turning it until you get back. To normal right now so yeah um this um uh, it's a bit of an unusual cube so i don't really know what to say about it i mean it's pretty pretty smooth turning it's just yeah it's just one of those cubes it's a bit weird so let's get that almost take on it how am i supposed to say with this don't say hello camera what am i supposed to say with just this say thing? okay pretty cool cube overall not much to say okay it. okay it's a pretty cool i'm not in shock. pretty go cool. okay so it's a pretty cool cube not much to say about it. Let's just go into taxels. I like this cube a lot because I can solve this one and it's really quick and easy to have like on your body at all times. You can carry it in a backpack really easy and you can surprise a lot of people with it because it's really weird and really cool at the same time. To the next cube. Okay, so here we are with this, uh, what do you call it? Just Mega Minx? So just your basic Mega Minx. Um, it's a Shang Shao Mega Minx, um, according to Tax Olsen. So here's my take on it. Um, seems pretty well. Uh, seems to be pretty uh, good. Um, uh, it's like kind of weird, but I don't know. That's because I haven't been used to. You haven't solved it. Yet. I haven't solved it ever. So. Yeah, that's a good point. But so yeah, I can't say much about it. But let's get on to what Tax Olsen wants to say about it. Alright, so, this is the toughest cube that I own, just because it takes up the most time, and the top layer was probably the most struggle that I've had for the cube in the um, Turning quality for its speed, uh, speed is pretty nice. This is probably the best uh, Mega Mix that you can get. Get it So, Raptor Raptor has a cube like this, but it's stickerless. Um, I think it has better, uh, Raptor Raptor has betters. Has, has better turning quality. Um, I've never learned how to solve one of these, and I never have. And it just seems like a really difficult cube to do. On to the next one. So here's the next cube. Uh, just pyramid. Here's uh, the Pyramix. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the, 
probably uh, my favorite cube. Uh, it's the Shang Shell. So, yeah, um, I don't have a lot to say about this. Um, but um, let's get into Tax Olsen's uh, take on this cube. He just went full god mode and solved this in like 20 seconds, so. My best time is 10 seconds. His best time is 10 seconds, so. So guys, next cube on the list. The we are here, the snake, here, we are here with the snake cube. So, this doesn't look like a snake cube, but let's just open it up. No, I think I broke them. So now it's the snake cube. As you can see, it opens up into one long piece. Uh, so, this is a pretty unique cube. What, this is, this is what the scramble looks like. Um, <laughs> let's just get a video of Tax Olsen solving it, so let's go. basic uh, spring cube um, it's been tensioned so it's not half bad but um that's pretty crap sorry tax so uh, yeah um, sticker stick it's a nice stickerless cube uh, turning quality is really nice um, corner cutting it's pretty good actually um, so um, yeah, let's get Tax's take on this cube. This is not my second boys. This is actually the best. Should we put a link in the description? Yeah, it's the best. Um, link in the description. Get to 100 subscribers. He's already at 80. The best was the one that got the cubes. Which I got these two of the cubes. So. so, for time's sake, what we're gonna do is just get um, groups of Rubik's cubes. And review those groups. So first group up is the three by threes. We already got the first three by three, so we're not counting that one. This is probably the worst cube you can get. To really be honest with you, You're, there's no chance of you getting like even sub thirty on this cube. No, no. Let's, let's just get that out of here. Okay, next cube is Tax Olsen's uh, main. Um, is this? Is this Really nice speed cube. Uh, I think you just got it like Target for like three bucks. Yeah. But it's actually pretty nice. Um, it's actually comparable to the Mofang uh, G uh, Thunderclap. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah. The corner cutting is um, actually pretty good. Uh, um, so yeah. Uh, sticker quality. So sticker quality in this is not very good. Um, so stickers feel pretty cheap. This is cube. This cube is more smooth than sturdy. So let's just get right on to the next three by three. Here, uh, actually, let's get Tax Olsen's and Denerals take on this. My main cube. It's pretty cool. I got a 47 second solve on it once. Like, right now I'm getting uh, it down to like 30 seconds. My PR on three by three is 32 seconds now. But that was on one of the best cubes. So yeah, that um, that cube. Now let's get on to this cube. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, this cube. What's the brand of this cube? Uh, it's just a regular speed. This is a regular speed cube by Duncan. I think it's just a store brand. So our final uh, three by three. This is probably the best one out of all of them. This is the Moyu. Um, this is uh, if I could describe this in one word, buttery. Yeah, buttery, because it's a really, really smooth, extremely smooth cube. The tension is perfect, like, it's, like, loose enough to where it'll, like, go perfectly. It'll, it'll like, spin perfectly. 
and to the point where I'll like fall apart if I pull mine. So, corner cutting, pretty nice. And this is a very nice budget cube. It's like three bucks from the cubicle. And stickerless, um, turning quality is A+. Plus. So guys, our next category is, of course, 4 by 4s So our first cube, uh, we're starting off with, uh, oh wait, first, we've got three cubes, one cube for each of us. We've got this cube, this cube, and this one. So let's get started off with this. Uh, this is a chain shell model. Um, I kind of like it, the looks of it. This is a uh, Tax Olsen's back there. Um, I, it has a cool retro look to it, and yeah, as you can see, it, it's falling apart, but... Besides that, um, it walks up occasionally. Uh, there's definitely better cubes, but by four. So here we are with my four by four. Um, it's a bit of a Franken cube because uh, it broke and popped a few times and I lost some pieces. But yeah, I got this from the Cubing Classroom set. Uh, if you want to search that up, just search it up on Google. It's from Moyu Speed Cubes. So oh, yeah. So I have not What? No, Matt also did it. So this is stickerless cube, Moyu Speed. Mo you, uh, mo you, um, overall I give it a probably 6 out of 10 because it walks quite a lot. Like, as you can see, it just walks up. So, yeah, let's get Tax Olsen's case on this one. So, I'm not sure what I think about it. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I like this set, and I'm thinking about getting my own set. And the most, the thing that I like about this is that you can just pop it off. If you uh, would like, move it wherever you like. It's overall pretty good speed. So yeah. Here we are with the last 4x4. So this is also a Moyu 4x4. It's a bit of a, a higher cost 4x4 than the last 4x4 that I just showed. Right here. So yeah, it also came with this pretty pretty cool Eskimo sticker. Um, So yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, this is uh, by far much nicer than... Uh, uh, the um, four before I just showed you. Um, just everything about it is pretty much better. And plus, it's got stickers, so that's always cool. Um, um, turning quality is better. Um, corner cutting is better. And it barely cuts. Uh, corner, it barely uh, um, walks. So yeah. So the cube is pretty smooth, as Lemon Square said. Also, it cor corner cutting is pretty good. So guys. The last category, uh, not last category, our next category is, <laughs> so our our next category is 2 by 2s so we have three 2 by 2s one for each cuber, and it's pretty drastic differences for each one, so let's go with the first one, the worst one, so we got this, just this Rubik's brand, um, um, so this, um, is, sorry tax, but, crap so corner cutting is non-existent like as you can see it's right here trying to, trying to turn it and it won't turn it'll break. yeah it'll just break uh, and if you take a look at my moyu cube it's considerably smaller so yeah um turning quality isn't actually that bad it's just when you're trying to get quick moves it doesn't move as fast as you'd like it to so let's get on to the second, uh, actually, yeah, second worst cube. This is dead almost cube, so we're both gonna get takes on this cube, so. Uh, this is, uh, first off, let me reveal it. So this is the Cyclone Boys, um. It almost just broke. It's extremely loud. I thought. Now it's extremely loud. Let's get a solve with Tax Souls, and then he can say what he thinks about it. So, yeah. Um, I actually borrowed this cube for like a week and I did not like it at all. I mean I did because I ended up being able to solve it too. If you can hear me, uh, it's actually extremely loud. It's better than the Rubik's brand, but uh, the Rubik's brand does not pop as much as this one does. I actually didn't pop it, just kind of sticks. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah. So yeah, not the best cube. Um, now let's get probably the best two-way-two option, 
Um, here we are. The Moyu. The Moyu. This comes from the speed. Uh, this comes from the um. The um. Cubing classroom speed set. Uh, as you can see, corner cutting. Put it up to here. It turns still. My God, I don't know. So you put it up like this. Still turns. So yeah, by far the best tube I do. So guys, that's the Moe UQ. Probably the best tube, uh, pr probably one of the best cubes uh, that we have. So yeah, let's get on to the next set of Rubik's cubes, which is. So um, this is the five by fives. Um, I already reviewed the other five by fives. So yeah, this is a Shang Shao five by five. Uh, the tick stickers are the same type as the other full reform we just reviewed, so you know it's the same brand. Um, same also with the cube. It's got a retro vibe to it. Um, corner cutting. It's pretty nice, um, actually. So sticker quality is very good. They feel nice of nice quality. So let's get on to what Tax Olsen got, has to say about this. This one is a pretty cool carbon five solve, and if you want to take it apart, it's a bit. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just take apart that corner piece and it'll come out and make it a little bit easier. So yeah. Now let's just get on to the last of our cubes. Ooh, I saw that on camera. <laughs> okay, so guys, here we are with this really, really weird cube. Okay, so this is my favorite. Yeah, this is Tax Olsen's favorite. Uh, well, let's just get it all scrambled up. Uh, this is a gear cube. Gear ball. Gear ball. Um, gear this is like a grocery store cube. Uh, it's not a competition cube, so it's just one of those weird cubes. It's actually very simple to solve. It's actually really simple to solve, it says so. Yeah, let's get right into the solve with Taxels. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get the reds together. Tax Olsen, that's, this was an exclusive solve from Tax Olsen, um, yeah, huh? I got excited and messed it up. Oh, so he messed up apparently. But yeah, this is the gear cube. It's a pretty interesting mechanism, because look, when you turn it, this thing turns with it, this gear. And so, yeah, you just have to spin around several times, because if you spin around one full rotation, these gears are messed up, so you just need to keep spinning it. Then eventually, um, it does get solved. There, it's solved. So yeah, that's the mirror, that's the uh, gear ball. So yeah, let's get on to our next cube. So here is probably my favorite cube on the list. This is the mirror cube. Um, yeah, it's when you look at it, it just looks like a regular shape, but in fact, it shape shifts, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty interesting cube. Um, this is actually a pretty uh, uh, well-known cube. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool cube. Uh, I heard this, uh, you saw it just like a three x three. Is that valid? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Instead of colors, you saw the shapes. Yeah. So yeah, let's get uh, a quick solve with Tax Olsen on this. So let's just get a, a Tax Olsen. Doing a solve on this, so here we are. Let's go.
solution with the salt. So let's go on to our next cube. Cube, so it's a bit unusual. It kind of looks like a boob cube, except that it turns up. And uh, yeah, it, I don't know. It might be, it actually looks kind of tough to solve. I'm not sure. Let's get into what tax solution has to say about it. So I can solve this. That's the cubic cube. Now, let's get a look at this void cube. So, this is exactly the same as a 3x3, except for one difference. There's no centers, and there's just one pair. So guys, we didn't have time to film an outro, because we had to leave right after that. So, um, yeah, um, that was the cube collection. It was about 20 cubes overall. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Tell me if you want more collabs with Tackles or not. And actually comment, because Tackles is the only guy that actually comments. And if you do comment, I will shout you out. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.